this demonstration, we are going to get into how you can make the shape of your map frame within your layout be whatever shape that you want it to be. In a previous tutorial, we did talk about the, the basics of a map frame. We talked about how you can bring in a map frame into your layout based on maps within your project, maybe bookmarks within your project. And we did talk about the, the default extent. We pulled it in, we drew our rectangular or square shape, and then we were able to pull that layout in or that map frame into our layout. So now what I wanna do is talk about how you can give a little more zing to your map frames, you know, bring in a little more custom design, custom shapes, maybe make it a little more appealing for standardizing some sort of marketing or branding that you're, you're working on within your organization, whatever it is that you need to do. The first thing I'm gonna show you is that when you pull in that once you choose your map and you pull in a map frame from the very get-go, you can click on this drop down and you can choose to draw a polygon. You can draw a lasso freehand with your mouse. You can pull in a perfect circle or you can pull in an ellipse shape. And we're gonna start uh, with the circle. So when I pull this in, you can see the crosshairs in the middle of my layout right now. When you click the mouse button, that is going to be the very center of your circle. So I'm gonna click and then I'm going to drag. And now you can see that I'm deciding on the size of my circular shaped map frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of those in. And then you can see that my map frame is now a circle. Now, let's say that I wanted to change the shape of this circle. Uh, maybe I wanted to have sort of an indent up here. If I go over to the map frame tab, I can click on edit vertices and you can see that my circle only has two vertices, one at the beginning and one at the end of that circular line. But you can edit this exactly like you can edit polygon features within your map. If you right click, you can add a vertex. So you can add vertices wherever you want to add them and then start changing the shape of your map frame yourself. So that's one way that you can do it is pull in one of the shapes that already exist and then start modifying it from there. I'm going to undo that. One of the other things that you can do is uh, come up to the reshape button up here. So I have my map frame selected within my layout. I'm on the map frame tab of my project and then I click on the reshape drop down. And then I can say, you know, I didn't actually want a circle. I kind of want to make this into a polygon shape instead. So I can click on this polygon and then wherever I now draw in a new shape with using the polygon instead of the circle, when I double click to end that drawing, it changes my map frame from that circular to whatever shape I drew with that polygon. And then also I can click on edit vertices and I can add vertices wherever I want to add them and just figure out whatever type of map frame shape is going to go with my full complete layout and the content of my layout or my marketing design, whatever it is that I'm creating. So the last thing I want to show you is the lasso. The lasso is an option that allows you to free draw whatever shape you want to draw. And then when you click on edit vertices within the lasso shape, there are a lot of vertices. So you can start with the lasso and then start to reshape it from there. Uh, but it, it just, it takes a lot more work because of the amount of vertices that do come in with that lasso shape. But there are ways that you can work with that. So I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for content updates.